back in Palos Verdes on a beautiful Sunday. On this dive, the swells were about a foot, visibility about 10 to 12 feet, which is pretty good. Water temps were great, uh, pretty warm. We actually ended up staying out there for about two and a half hours. Um, Try to get something big, a white sea bass, um, but no luck, no signs of them. But uh, we know they're out there, it is the season. And uh, yeah, but uh, overall, it was a good dive. Uh, saw plenty of fish out there, tons of calico, um, a lot of small ones, but just tons of marine life, which was really awesome to see. And um, yeah, on the way in, we uh, shot some opali. It felt kind of good to uh, finally bring home some fish. We did a little fish fry at the end, and uh, they're, they're pretty tasty. I know opali is not a super popular fish to bring back, but they're actually pretty tasty. And if you want some tacos and want to do a simple pan fry or a fish fry, um, they're actually pretty good eats, and they have some decent meat. And um, yeah, but uh, brought one home that was about 15 inches and a couple others. But enjoy the video. There's a little recap and then a little fish fry at the end but i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for all the support please like comment and subscribe and enjoy yo it's the one G. All right, we just got back from the dive. Uh, we caught some opali, as you can see here. Got a pretty decent sized one in the back. Um, that one's a little over, it's like almost 15 inches or so, which is pretty nice. But uh, yeah, we caught some opali. Uh, for those of you wondering, should you even eat opali? Yes, you can. Um, would you like opali? That's obviously subjective, but um, it's actually a pretty tasty fish. It's slightly on the fishier side, but ever so slightly, it's still, um, totally worth uh, catching if you just want to do a fish fry um, or if you just want to do a really really easy pan sear um, but today we're, what we're gonna do is fry them uh, like fish and chip style so right here we have some uh, 
frying mix. We're gonna add some water, really simple. Uh, we're gonna fillet the opali. And then once we have those fillets, we're gonna have them in nice chunks, um, throw them in that mix, and then use some olive oil or you can use canola, any oil you like, put it in the pan and do a really easy uh, fry. Um, you can dip it in some ketchup, teriyaki sauce, whatever you want. Um, it's very versatile, so uh, let's get started. So let's first get started on making this fish uh, frying mix. So all we have is this generic frying mix um, that I bought from the store. Now I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is add some water. Now we're just gonna whisk it up so you get a nice consistency. Add some more water. Where can you find this mix? Uh, you can find this mix essentially anywhere. I got mine, uh, my parents got it from the Asian market. It's literally called frying mix. But you could use, uh, if you want to do like a panko crust, which is I think a little more tastier, you can do that. But essentially anything that you would do to fry, you could even do an egg wash if you wanted to. But this one's really easy. Um, just a frying mix and water. All right, now what we're gonna do is fillet the opali. So um, just like any other fillet, go under the fin. Fin. Make an incision near the... All right, now that we got some fillets, what we're gonna do is kind of dice them up into, or not dice, we're gonna kind of square them off into some tender size. But before we do that, um, when you do have a fillet, there are some bones. What you can do is either pick them out by hand, and usually it's in that line right there where the ribs are. What you can do is pull them out, either with some tweezers or sometimes your mouth. Um, but instead, I'm gonna kind of cheat and cut in um, between or around that. So uh, it will save some time. You do lose, lose some meat, but in this case, um, it's fine. So we're gonna cut through that. So right along the ribs. That one has no more bones. You can feel them right there. Then again, you lose some of that meat, but this save a lot of time. It's ready. All right, so now we have some fillets with no bones. What we're gonna do is now kind of square them off. So this is a nice size. Um, something like this would be a good size for a, a fry. Got a nice piece of meat. You can leave them long if you like, but I like to square them off. No real uh, science to it, just kind of however you like. There we go. A nice long piece here. That's. So now we have some squared off fillets here. No bones, we have our batter, we're ready to cook. So all we're gonna do is gonna stick these fillets into the batter. Make sure you get a nice even coating. I just kind of like to throw them in here because there's so many pieces and kind of just uh, mix them together. Make sure everyone has a nice even coating. So we're gonna do here, just mix that in. And again, you can use any type of batter you'd like. You can do an egg batter, you can do a panko crust. Um, this is again, just super easy. It's called fry mi frying mix. I got it from the Asian supermarket, um, but you can literally do anything. 
You can do a beer batter if you'd like. Um, super simple recipe, but it looks like everything is coated. Um, now to the fryer. So now we got some oil in there. It's at a nice temperature. What we're gonna do is make sure our fish is coated. Take off the excess batter, plop them in. All right, so that is our deep fried opali. Um, as you can see, the meat is really white. Uh, once you fry it like this, the fish taste is pretty much gone, um, but it's a really nice crisp. Again, super easy. You can use a panko crust. I use just some generic frying mix. Um, you can use egg wash, whatever you like. It's really easy um, right here. You can use whatever you like, but I have some soy sauce right here. And then this is actually Chick-fil-A sauce. Um, but again, you just think of them as nuggets. Um, let's try them out. So I'm gonna try some soy sauce first. Dip it nice and light. Mm. Really nice crisp. Again, you can't even taste like the slight fishy flavor that Oblai is known for. Especially when you fry it like this. Try some Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm. All right, Chick-fil-A sauce. That's one's better, but um, really good. Really easy opali. Try it out. Um, just get the fillets, batter them up, fry them up. They're really good. Cameraman, if you want to try some, <laughs> try that out. That's oh, pretty good. Pretty good? All right. Well, he says it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Um, but we were going out for some larger fish. Um, at the end, we are just like, we need, to, we need to practice a little, but we also want to try some opali. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. This is again, opali. This is really simple fry. Um, till next time, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.